Well, come on in out of that uh, cold, snowy weather that we're having today. Well, actually, it was, uh, I think it was in the 60s today. Probably going to be in the 60s tomorrow. But anyway, uh, come on in. Let's take a look at your inspection report. So stay with me. Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right-hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable and they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram and then of course you'll find my comments here below now let's take a look at your particular your personal report so stay with me hey wendy it was great to see you out at the house today what a beautiful house great location too let's go on inside so we've got a working set of vented gas logs it's using a top ceiling damper, and this damper must stay in this position right here. This is the open position. Top ceiling dampers physically open and shut at the very top of the flue, very top of the chimney. And in this particular case, let's see if we got a picture of it here, their chimney damper is inside this chimney cap. So that's just beautiful because what it's doing is it's keeping the rain and the leaves and the moisture out. When it's open like it is today, it's, it's got a screen around it keeping the birds and the squirrels out. So that really is a, uh, let's go back to our picture, that's really the best way to keep it. So it's in this position. The reason it's important to leave the damper open is because if you closed it in the summertime and forgot to reopen it and fired up these lawns, you'd fill the house up with something you couldn't see or smell. In other words, carbon monoxide would make you sick and you'd be heading to the hospital. So let's leave that open. Here's a view of the smoke chamber flue area. It's looking fine. We're not having any problems there, apparently. Uh, so we looked at this picture here. Uh, right here at the base, which is called the crown of the chimney, it's got some cracks in it. And eventually, this will need to be uh, repaired. Now, it's been like that for a long time, but moisture does get down into the body of the chimney. They almost always leak. So someday, when all the shrubs are cut back back there so we can actually lean a ladder on the chimney, um, and, and bring some material up while well, we can re-pour that for you and I've given you a price on doing that. Here's a shot straight down on the top of the chimney. This is the top of the uh, cap damper. And here's that concrete crown. It's kind of receding a little bit, but we can see the cracks and stuff. Flashing here looks pretty good. Not having any problems there, apparently. If you folks have questions for me, give me a call. 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thanks.